Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today I'm here to do a update <laughs> on my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection, which is, uh, as you probably know, quite extensive. But I've done some rearranging here, and I've actually given a lot more space to the Texas Chainsaw collections. Well, I'm just gonna go right in to show you what we have set up, and um, it's actually made up of uh, four shelves at the moment got four levels, I mean it's one shelf, yeah you sort of get get what I mean. So yeah I'm just gonna go through this, I'm gonna begin right down here at the bottom and I really uh, did a lot of mix and matching, you know, I sort of it's not like I tried to keep like DVDs at, in one place and VHS's uh, at another, I just tried to mix them to make it look uh, you know, look nice, sort of look symmetrical and like a generally good display. And you know, I, I did try to put some focus on, on the releases which I feel are, are really special and unusual. Uh, for instance, we got the German keep case with like a, a exterior blood pack to it, uh, which is a pretty gener generic blood pack, uh, but it's still a very fun release to have because it's um, sort of nicely done. <laughs> And yeah, I can do this all day. So that's one. Then we got another one here, which most of you probably know. Uh, the uh, American Meat Pack version, which, uh, you know, always a favorite. Uh, here we got an American Beta from uh, Me Media Entertainment, I think it is. Living Dead Dolls uh, Leatherface figure, which is awesome. I just love this. It's so, so awesomely detailed. Love the little blood spatters and stuff everywhere and uh, even even on the fucking shoes actually you actually got, got blood spatter on the shoes it's just yeah, very nicely done here we have the Studio S and the Video Violence a Swedish box set surrounding the history of this movie in Sweden and it also contains uh, some other movies that were banned back in the 80s uh, and sort of, uh, you know, they were banned entirely in Sweden. Uh, then over here we have uh, actually the only uh, release I have right now for uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 uh, or Leatherface. And this is a uh, just a cardboard VHS uh, sleeve. I forget where this is from actually. I think it's I think it's the American one. Ah, God, I can't recall. I actually bought this as part of a package and just you know ended up with uh, that one. And with uh, this this weird release for for the second movie, it's done in like it's like a parody shot of the Breakfast Club for the front cover, <laughs> which is just you know I, I'm not a fan of the second movie, um, but I thought this was a kind of cool release, uh, fun to have. And like I said, I bought it as part of a package. I'm sure there was some release for for the first movie that I really wanted, and these were sort of bonus items in that combo or something, I don't know. Then we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, skin box, as it's called, from Austria. And it is a small heart box. really like the artwork on this. In the back here we have a uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre comic, uh, which actually was a gift from a subscriber. You know, gifts are fun, but you know, if you if you want to contribute to the Texas Chainsaw collection, that is always like the, the number one thing. <laughs> You can do for me. I do have a lot of old releases, but I would also like to get the ones that I've never even heard of, like, you know, getting something from, I don't know, Iceland? I don't think I have a release from Iceland. <laughs> That's just an example. I mean, you, you know what it gets, from like an exotic country that, you know, I would have never even thought of. I would love to get something from Turkey, because I hear they have uh, really odd covers. Uh, I mean, uh, it's as a long story. I mean, there are a lot of rarities here which people know about, uh, but I want to get into collecting some of the weird stuff. I got a tape that I'm looking for from Argentina, for instance. So, uh, sort of stuff like that that you know you don't really see uh, in maybe every uh, TCM collection. I want to mention that you know if you do have uh, an odd release like that which you don't see here, um, you know, if, and you want to part with it give it as a gift or sell it or whatever, you can always send me a message, see if I'm in interested. Uh, in the back here, this is actually a promo item for the remake movie, and uh, it's a promotional evidence bag uh, with some cool stuff in it. Um, I've reviewed this, so you can obviously check the other video on the tube. Then here we have uh, some of the remake movies. 
Uh, we got an Epsom salt can here, which is part of the evidence bag, actually. Uh, we got the screen grabs diorama, which is just one of my favorite sort of uh, figurines uh, stuff because it's such a such a really really cool display uh, in its sort of weird uh, 3D like uh, design or whatever you want to call it. Just love that. Moving along uh, to the next shelf. Just gonna start off to the left here. We got the uh, God. What is it? Is it Austrian or German? I think it's Austrian. Anyway, the Blu-ray DVD combo from Turbine, and this is the uh, the 35th anniversary one. There's a new release which looks very much like this, but it has a book, uh, and I'm planning to get that as well. Just haven't given it a lot of priority yet. Uh, anyway, then we got a um, a card deck and um, a VHS from oh god I forget this is the Finnish one I think it's the... no no it's actually the Dutch one sorry my mistake and then we got um, two of these English pre-search uh, and that it's actually a VHS version and a beta version but uh, the boxes are uh, exactly the same the, only the spine differs next up we got uh, the Wizard video release from America uh, the first ever uh, VHS release in the US. Very rare, so I actually put a put an extra plastic bag on that just to keep it in nice shape. And speaking of rarities, we got the uh, Super 8 box from IFS. And this is actually, you know, it's actually a Super 8 reel. I have a film sources in the UK. Uh, and then we got another American version, uh, a VHS tape from uh, Video Treasures. Um, and I know that both this one, uh, this one exists as a beta, uh, and the beta down here from Media also exists as a VHS. So uh, I want to get the VHS from Media, and I want to get the beta version from uh, Video Treasures in case anyone has those laying around. Then we got uh, actually two Swedish releases over here. Also in identical boxes, uh, but they do slightly differ uh, on the label on the tape, so that's the real reason why I got two. Uh, then we got another Dutch one. This is actually a Dutch uh, sort of pre cert era release. Sadly, it's you know it's been trimmed uh, at the side there, but still very nice to have. And then we got a Spanish Dicky Pack uh, DVD, which is just really really beautiful. Love it. We got the uh, the soundtrack. <laughs> Uh, or actually, it's just an audio dub of the entire movie because uh, you can't actually get the uh, the music or background audio or scoring. Uh, it's not available anywhere uh, on its own, so this is the only way to to hear it. But it's it's just a straight audio dub of the movie, and it is actually a bootleg release. Uh, then we got another DVD. This is an Italian release, uh, just a keep case and a slip case. Uh, here is the Super 8 millimeter release from Duran, also in the UK. So these are basically the same in terms of content. I, you know, as far as I know, this one has a preview trailer uh, for the Scars of Dracula. And if you wanna, if you wanna see what this one looks like, uh, what the movie looks like, check uh, my other video where me and Mistafa are actually watching this uh, and doing a bit of a commentary to it. Uh, then we got a UK release which is um, from, I think it's Virgin Store exclusive. And uh, moving along to the next shelf, uh, here's the bulk of my DVDs, um, but also some other stuff. So uh, from the left here, we got a Japanese beta, which I love because it didn't cost me too much and it's proven to be uh, actually quite unusual. I don't really see this. I did see a VHS version, with the same cover, uh, which, which I missed out on, uh, that really bugged me because I really want to get this more more Japanese editions. Basically, that's that's what I want. And then we got the extremely rare uh, VHS release from the UK, uh, which is in a in dual function uh, Super 8 real box. Um, and uh, yeah, I made a video talking more about this. Then we got a bunch of DVDs here. One of the more prominent, the Japanese. Uh, like very luxurious DVD box. Got a Thailand release with a very odd cover. I'm just gonna take these out one by one to show. A Swedish release and a Digipack, older version. Got a Dutch release 
digi pack in a slip case. UK release, old UK black digi pack. Let's see, there we go. And this is actually odd. You'll notice that I have two. Second one is actually exactly the same one, uh, but this is uh, the one that was issued in Ireland. So it is in fact exactly the same release, but they put uh, these alternate reigning logos on it uh, and it's actually stickers even so I was hoping that this would be printed so there would be an obvious difference but you know it is actually just put on there over the UK logo. And then we got a Finnish release from Future Film uh, we got a UK version keep case uh, another UK version uh, then we got a Swedish keep case Swedish Blu-ray, French Diggy Pack, one of the weirdest diggies and the ugliest, Australian collector's tin, slip tin, actually not a steel book. But then we do have the steel books. So first up is the Swedish one or Scandinavian, uh, American one, and then the UK one. Uh, then we have uh, another uh, Swedish VHS, same cover as the one in the corner here, but actually a small box. Then we have the three limited edition heart boxes uh, from XT Video. Uh, are they German? Are they Austrian? Fuck, it's always so hard to remember. And you don't have to comment on that, because I know I just don't remember right now. Uh, so there's uh, three cover versions. There are two, and then this is the third one, so... Moving on to the top shelf, last one. Uh, we basically just have some VHS tapes. First, uh, we got the very rare Swedish rental uh, from Andarbe Productions. We got a... Oh god, what is this? So yeah, this is another... This is a Finnish one, also from Future Film. And we got another Swedish one from a company called Network. A UK preset release. Uh, with a lovely, lovely cover. Swedish release once again. Uh, Australian release. And uh, last but not least, we got a... Italian, is it? <laughs> oh god, yeah, I think it's Italian. Italian VHS. But that is it. Except for the one that always gets forgotten and stashed away because it's so odd to display and it's also not not very, very cool to me. <laughs> Uh, just a very, very odd release, the Chainsaw Edition uh, from uh, Germany or Austria, whatever, it's released everywhere, not everywhere, but in both countries, and they're like identical, but they're not identical, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is the last one, that's all the stuff I got so far, but being as I'm such a TCM whore, I obviously have like two, three, four, five editions in transit at the moment, so this thing will definitely get updated from time to time. But that's it, I really hope you enjoyed this, uh, if you have any questions about certain releases or stuff like that, feel free to just uh, ask me about it. Really hope you enjoyed this, and as usual, hope to see you all next time.